Okay, so I've picked up this nine foot two classic Malibu online for uh, about eighty dollars. Uh, as you can see, it's a, a lovely old board. Uh, it's got a nice, nice pattern on it. Yeah, so on the back here, it's been uh, it's been painted white. Um, the nice big, big old fin there. As you can see right here, the fin box. It's just got a bit of a crack. It's still pretty solid. Um, so what I think I might do is I want to restore the board and uh, refurbish it. So what I'll do is I'll take the fin out uh, after I've cleaned it, give it a sand, and then I'll put down probably a layer of four ounces of fiberglass just over the fin box there to just solidify that and make it stronger. What we're gonna do is sand the whole board. Uh, I'm gonna repaint the board. So I want to try to keep these beautiful coloured lines. As well as the classic uh, Malibu sticker, Noosa Heads Australia. And the stringer line. So uh, I want to keep those. So I'm going to tape that up and then give it a, a, a coat of paint with the, uh, the marine paint. I want to really turn it back into a beautiful nine foot two old Malibu. Uh, really bring it back to life. So anyway, that, that's the plan. I'm just going to use the mineral terps on the board, clean it up. Melt the wax. So just with this uh, bit of sticky uh, glue that was uh, left over from the um, from the pad that was on here, I'm just going to use this goo and stain remover and see how that goes. So I'll let that sit for a minute or so and then um, see if we can get it off. Pretty good, it comes off nicely, look at that. Yep, does a good job. Looking nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the 120 grit sandpaper to uh, just sand this area here because I'm gonna put the fiberglass on there later and then I'll use probably a 240 grit just on the rest of the back of the board there. Uh, as I mentioned, I am going to um, put on a marine paint later, so I just want to prep that. I might as well do it at the same time. Okay, after sanding it, <clears throat> uh, the fin box here, you can see that uh, the crack's not as bad as I thought. The uh, crack in the white paint, but look, it is a little bit, obviously there looks like there has been a little bit of a, a few cracks there. So I still will give it the, put the, uh, the extra sheet of fiberglass over the fin boxes to make sure that it's um, very strong. Okay, as you can see, <clears throat> what I've done is, and this is, uh, this is really good, I've sanded off the stringer because I want to, um, I like to leave the stringer on. I'll, I'll cover the stringer up when we, um, when we paint the board. It just gives the, um, the board a more professional look to it when you keep the stringer. Uh, also, the, um, I've discovered the, uh, the board details are here as well, which is good. Um, they don't, the person who owned the board before me has obviously painted over all that, um, so we'll, we'll keep that as well when we do the, uh, the restoration, the paint job. Uh, I just think it looks fantastic to have those on the board. So what we've done is we've just we're leaving the the uh, the white some of the white paint on the board. That'll be a good undercoat for when we do our painting. Um, but what we've done is we've just sanded it with the 240 just to smooth it out and uh, just to rough it up a little bit so that our paint sticks better. Um, but uh, that'll be good. It's also the, the white paint. Uh, it's also covered a, a repair that's been done here previously as well. So I'm just going to use the 240 grit here as well while I've got the sander out. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to sand 
the top of this board as well. Uh, just the areas that we're going to be painting. I'm going to try to avoid these uh, coloured areas because we're going to uh, we're going to leave them on the board. We're not going to paint over them, um, but we are going to paint this this brown area here. Um, so I'll just give that a bit of a sand now and then we won't need to do it later. So we're just taking the outer gloss off the board so that the paint will, will stick better. Uh, we're going to make sure we give it uh, a really good uh, clean with some acetone before we do the painting we want to make sure all the wax and the and the outer glosses off the board Okay, so this piece of fiberglass will just sit here over that. It's just going to go over there like that. So that's just going to strengthen that fin box which had a few cracks in it. Uh, and then, um, and then what we'll do is once it's it's uh, been uh, laid and set, we'll then cut out the the tape. It's extra strong then, so we'll sand it back. We're just mixing up the polyester resin. So we don't need a lot of, with polyester resin, we don't need a lot of hardener. It's probably too much. But I'm using, I have to do another board, so using a bit, quite a bit of resin. We'll make sure we give it a really good stir. Okay, so while the, the resin and the fiberglass is, is setting on the other side of the board, on the fin, I'm just going to use the acetone just to give it a, the, the top a really good clean, get rid of all the, um, the dust from, the, from sanding. Um, and then I'm going to use the stringer tape to tape up the stringer. And I'm gonna start um, taping up these beautiful colors here because uh, we're going to keep those on the board as they are um, so we're just going to prep basically for painting
It's looking good. Looks fantastic. That it's giving it that extra strength. Okay, so I'm just at the point now where we're going to paint the surfboard. I've decided to go with the um, the marine paint, uh, the Admiralty Blue colour instead of the Fleet Red. I was thinking about doing Fleet Red, but I'll, I'll just for something different, I'm going to give it the uh, the Admiralty Blue, often on, on the bottom of boats and things because it's really durable, particularly in water. Um, so I, I find it's um, it's very durable and it's good on surfboards as well. So this is the, uh, the Norglass. So well, that's what I'm using. Before I start, I'm just going to give the board a, another really good clean, make sure there's no dust left on it, um, and then we can get stuck into the paint. Okay, so the plan's going to be, I'm probably going to be giving it two to three coats, and um, Probably each coat will be about, we'll probably leave about three minutes between each coat uh, just for it to dry a little bit. And typically what happens, the first coat, because it's very runny, it doesn't um, stick as well. So the first coat is just about getting it on as quick as we can. Okay, that's coat number one, so we'll let that dry a little bit. All right, here we go for number two. Okay, so this is our third coat. Okay, so there we have it for the back of the board. I'm just going to let that cure now probably for three days. It takes about three days for it to fully cure. And then we'll, um, then we'll come and do the other side. And then we can take all the tape off and have a look at our finished product. Beautiful big old fin. I'm going to just give it a coat of spray paint, black there and white on the other side, just to really bring it to life. So when we put it back on the board, it'll look uh, it'll look almost new. Okay, so today we're going to be painting top of the board. Uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to do initially, is just give it a bit of a clean with mineral terps, just to make sure we get all the dust off it been in storage for a couple of days uh, and then I'm just going to make sure this tape is uh, secure yeah, it seals the uh, so that we don't get the spillage All right, so I'm just getting Elijah to put the first coat of paint on. So we're going to do three coats. We're going to do uh, probably about three to four minutes apart. It's quite hot today, so we might have to go right on about every three minutes. We'll put a coat on, right? Eh? You can do it nice and quickly. Most of that paint's drying pretty quickly, isn't it? That um. That's all right, you can probably go a little bit quicker now because it's 
just the first coat. Just go a bit lower on the edge too. That's it. Okay, second coat, yep. Go for it. Oh, geez, look at the steam coming off it from the heat. Right on. <laughs> See how the steam's coming off it? <laughs> I might have to take it into the shadows. So this is our last coat. I've let it dry for about three to four minutes. We've taken it out of the sun because it was getting too hot and it's starting to steam. Hey, thanks for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it the thumbs up and check out my channel for other surfboard restoration and refurbishment videos. Have a lovely day.